Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about speaker tune-up. A uh, catchy title to kind of get your uh, attention here. We know from past videos that we know from uh, many, many years of experience that the area of highest uh, low frequency pressure in most rooms is between the back of the speaker and the front wall, the nearest boundary surface, okay? So that surface area from the front wall to the speaker is critical for low frequency management. And in that area, we can have a huge impact with a small amount of square footage. So if you want to just test that out, just take a pressure meter and measure behind the speaker, between the wall and the speaker, and measure at the listening position. You're going to see a big difference, 5, 10 dB probably in most cases. How do we do that? How do we manage that energy? So a little bit of a challenge here for you. So those of you that are on a limited budget but want a big low frequency impact, we can do it with our carbon modules. Now, what are we, how are we going to do it? Well, we've got our speaker here, right? We're going to put our carbon modules, two of them, so it's four square feet behind each speaker. And that's going to provide eight square feet of surface area behind each speaker with two modules, okay? They're 24 by 24 by 12. And for this exercise, we're going to focus on the 30 to 50 or the ACDA 12 technology because this is the most problematic frequency range that we usually see between the speaker and the front wall. Listen to the improvement, definition separation. How far back? Well, we're going to start at 12 inches behind the speaker, and we're going to adjust. You're going to move them. They're about 80 pounds a piece. They're not light, but they do stack easy, and you can slide them on the floor, okay? But get started. That's a good thing. So good test, square footage. You'll want more, definitely because you're going to hear more separation and definition and you're going to want more, but that's okay. You just add more modules or our full-size units, okay? Now, to complement that, you want to do some sidewall treatment, okay? So if we put our modules here behind the speakers, we want to treat the sidewalls too, so we get nice reflection management. We can do that very inexpensively with our foam technology. So here's an inexpensive way. Four modules, probably about 2K, and fall maybe another 1K for the wall. So 3K, you got a huge low end improvement and you got reflection management on the sidewalls. So for those of you that want to try the technology on a limited, uh, more limited budget, don't have the budget to treat the whole room, this is a good way for you to experience the power of our carbon diaphragmatic absorption and get some more def definition and separation in the low end. And I can't think of anyone who doesn't want that excuse me so putting a couple modules behind each speaker as you can see here in the graphic that's the way to go to get started to get uh, tuned up into the room so keep all of this in mind as you're trying to figure out you know what to do first in a room I know it's hard because you've got so many things that you have to consider but this is a really good start to teach you the power of the room and the influence that the room has on the presentation value in your room. Speaker tune-up using our ACDA 12 carbon modules. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.